Hello everyone, this is DJ Mavic 3T part 2. Here I'm going to tell you about how to do the mapping. So once you enter into the camera, so you will see in the controller the flight route. So click on the flight route, then you have different routes which were saved before. So click on create a route. So once you create a route, so it will show you waypoint, mapping, oblique or linear. So oblique is 3d linear is to follow some trend waypoint what you will give the instructions and mapping so let's click on the mapping so it will show you the area where you want to map so normally it connect with the internet so you have to connect the internet make sure your internet is working so that it can show you your current location so once you go to the connection and then you look at into the current location so you can move around wherever you want to select or mapping so you can click let's suppose and this is the area i want to map so once you click here so it will show you this pan so you can look at into this the square box and you can extend by clicking the nodes let's suppose you adjust wherever what area and how big the area you want to map so you can add nodes or delete nodes so then you can use type your map let's suppose this is test i put a name select camera this is make sure you select the correct so this is dji mavic 3t so you basically you collect 3t you want to use white or ir ir is thermal and normal so you can use both also so let's use any of them if you do both it means that it can map both thermal so it will show you some trend lines so it means that drone will fly uh, into this path so where it can capture the images so you can see the setting safe take off so like suppose speed or height terrain follow this is important if you have a irregular terrain so you have to do that so you click on terrain follows so it will follow the terrain and then you click on dsm follow so it will download that particular area dsm file so you go to dsm click and download from internet so once it downloaded so the drone will follow this terrain so it will appear in different colors the different in terrain with different colors so go down then you terrain follow height set how much you will fly uh, let's suppose uh, 10 meter 20 meter or 100 meter so more you are closer more it will be give you high resolution you can see the lines are coming more so it will take more capture image more you are going away from the terrain more elevation so it will take less images so once you have done this one dsn setting and all that so take off speed so you can check how much you want to fly so let's suppose i set this numbers and take off speed and speed of drone how fast it will go angle this you can change it whatever is your adjustment course angles you can play with that so the capture Then return and home, make sure the drone will fly itself, start mapping and return back to home. So make sure it should be returned to home. So these are the settings basically you have to do it. It's up to you. If you don't have terrain data, you can close it. So once you have done this setting, so click on the map corner, save. And once you have done save, so you can see this distance, this one, estimate time, this one, 21 photos it will take, area of this one, GSD 116.48 centimeter per pixels. So you can always check how many images it will take, how long it can fly depending upon the battery. Once you click play, then you play, you will see the settings. It's all the same setting that I mentioned in the part one, sensor settings, horizontal distance. So then you click next. So once you click next, so it will tell you distance, estimate time, waypoint, 21 times photos. And this one will take safe takeoff, all the setting you will done it. 
RTK status not necessary to connect. If you have RTK, you can connect. Once is done, then you check always cannot locate aircraft because now it's inside. So it doesn't GPS doesn't locate you see. So you click next and then you will see all the setting. Then you play it. So what happened? The drone will fly itself. So this is where we we map this test. So you can use this one when you go to the field. You can just click here and then you fly your drone. So that's all about the mapping setting. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.